what's up, y'all? It's your boy Lakeem on the Bob Originator. Shout out to Urban Ground TV. Salute. I'm rocking with y'all. Hello, this is Tamiko Dixon, the granddaughter of the Blues, Willie Dixon, and you're listening to Urban Grind TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know, it's the boy Illinois. You call me Illy on Urban Grind TV Booth Radio. Yeah, yeah. This your girl, Miss Breezy, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Yo, it's your boy D Mula. Right now, you're rocking with Urban Grind TV. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kate Valentine, and right now, you're tuned in to Urban Grind TV Booth Radio. It's Twan Gabs. You are now watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on with you? This is Jay Shield, CEO. You're now watching Urban Grind TV. Grind like you want. Yo, 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 this your boy, producer Johnny Yayo of Black Wealth Music Group. Just spent sending a special shout out to Urban Grind TV. Definitely check them out. They're the voice of the street. Hey, it's your girl, DJ Gemini Jones, and I want you to check out Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine. What up, what up, what up? It's your big homie, Fiend, Fiend for the money. Bump, bump. You're now tuning into Urban Grind TV. You dig? What's going on? It's your boy Wally with Urban Grind TV. We are live at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine shoot, Volume 3. We got the whole cast of uh, everybody here with us, the models, the DJs, entertainers, hosts. So we want to let you guys know who they are and what they're doing. So I'm Wally, executive producer, Urban Grind TV, and co-editor-in-chief of Urban Grind Lifestyle. I'm going to pass it right here now. Yo, what's up? I'll be FM from Grand National Inc., one half of the member of uh, West Side Chicago. And also, you can check us out on uh, Grand National Inc., anywhere, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. That's what it is. What's up, it's your girl Kate Valentine. I'm a hip hop artist and I'm a writer. I just dropped the album here for a reason. Go get that. You can find me at It's Kate Valentine on all of the um, social networks. Hey, what's up? My name is London. I'm a model here. Uh, I'm with Wendy City Model Modeling Management. It's Hack Nation, man. Grand National Inc. of the half, man. Y'all check for us, man. GrandNationalInc.com. Y'all check for that new album called New Age, man. We off Chicago all day, man. Salute. Hey, my name is Nini. You can find me on Instagram at Nini Maldonado underscore, and I'm with Wendy City Model. Antoine Muhammad, writer, uh, artist. You can find me on Instagram at AM to the Rescue. What's up? I'm Layla Perez. I'm the owner of Wendy City Model Management. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Layla Perez Official. What up? What up? It's your boy John Blue, the R&B bully. You can find me on IG, Twitter, Instagram, all that uh, John Blue. Stay tuned too for the album Sacrifice Before Success dropping on October 27th along with the clothing line. Hey, what's up? I'm Angela. I'm part. I'm a model part of Wendy City Model Management. You can find me on Instagram under official Angela Martinez. Heartbreak Rebel up in this bit. Um, I'm a rapper, songwriter, producer, everything. What's up guys? My name is Tyann. I'm also with Wendy City Model Management. I'm John Daniel. I'm the creative control of Urban Grind and I'm the guy who does the Shit, who does the shit? Uh, if you see it made, I made it most likely. Uh, I'm also the host of Cryptid City and a bunch of other things. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Rusty Blade of UGTV, TV host, radio host, Sports World. Keep in tune with the Urban Line Lifestyle, the magazine, volume three. I'm also a writer for that. What's up, y'all? This is Deetra Walker. Uh, co-owner of Archive Duplication Company, today's stylist and printer of merch, most of the merchandise um, here at UG Urban Grind Lifestyle. What's up? My name's Cassie Belazic. I'm a model photographer, videographer, and video editor, pretty much anything behind and in front of the camera. Um, I work for Chicago um, Mid Midnight Cinema Productions. I work with hip-hop artists nationally and internationally. Yo, what up, y'all? It's the pride of the East Side. DJ MA said I'm a DJ slash host for Urban Grind TV. I host the show, The Booth Radio, host and co-produce the show, Booth Radio. Uh, you catch me DJing all around the city. I do the Wake Up Mix Monday through Friday on Smash Cash Radio. We working out here, man. Proud of the East Side. All things Urban Grind. That's who I am. Hi, it's Decima. I'm an electronic pop singer artist. And 
Williams. I'm a host for Urban Grind TV. I'm so happy to be here today. All right, there you have it. That's Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3. Check us out at urbangrindlifestyle.com. You can download the issues, check out the stuff. We feature music, entertainment, industry, culture, fashion, and sports, man. This is a little sneak peek of the mag, man. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Yo, what's good, people? It's the Pride of the East Side, DJ MH Tudor, and we're live at Urban Grind Studios at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3, photo shoot. And I'm standing here with family, my sister, one of the dopest MCs in the world. Y'all know who this is. K Valentine in the building. How you doing, honey? Doing good. What's up? I can't complain. What brings you to Urban Grind uh, Lifestyle Magazine photo shoot today? Y'all bring me. <laughs> I'm ready to turn up. You know, I'm 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 blessed to be, um, you know, have gotten the opportunity to be on the cover of the quarterly magazine, you know, Urban Ground magazine. So I'm I'm here. Listen, y'all know she here for a reason. So what's been up with you? I know you've been working. You just performed the other night with Most Def. How was that? Oh man, that was amazing. Um, sold out show at the Concord, um, and that was my second time. Uh, actually meeting him and hang, being able to hang out with him um, and so we definitely spoke on working you know in the future so look for him for my next album God willing you know but um, it was a blessing it was an amazing show sold out got a lot of great feedback so I seen that you uh, posted that a year the night, the night of a show made a year from your car accident how fulfilling was that for you like to be able to be here to perform it actually made two years and I mean it was just what it did was add a, a, another memory for that date but it's positive you know what I'm saying so now when I think about September 21st aside from the accident I'm gonna be like man I perform with most depth you know so it was a blessing that's what's up okay you got a lot going on the foreplay uh, remix is out right now with Twister it's in heavy rotation I play it every day so um, how that come about well, to be honest with you, um, he was supposed to be on the original. That's why if you listen to the lyrics, I mention his name. Um, but, you know, I was I had to meet certain deadlines, and he had he get, hit me back with the verse. So I ended up getting my homie, um, Scotty ATL, to get on it. Then one day, I got on my laptop, and I'm like, let me check. check. I had a lot of Facebook messages that I never checked, so I checked them all. And um, it was this guy, Hype B, who had messaged me and was like, man, Twister been trying to get in contact with you, blah, blah, blah. So he sent the number and I called. Twister was like, man, I've been trying to get in contact with you. I got that verse. And, but my album was already released. So I'm like, well, go ahead and send it. That it should be the remix. So that's how that happened. So are we still getting a video? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Working on the video. So the video will be for the remix featuring Twister. Okay. So I got to ask you, which, which version is your favorite, the original or the remix? Oh... Twist the snap. Twist the snap. We're doing a video for that verse. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So uh, the video's out right now. Here for a reason. For Tell all the people where they can get it at. Man, Here for a Reason is available everywhere um, on all the streaming platforms, on iTunes. I even have vinyl and, and uh, you know, hard copy. LPs. I mean, CDs. Yeah. So you can get it, um, and you can get those at qualityclub.com. So it's everywhere. It's on Tidal, uh, Spotify, all of, you know, here for a reason. I seen you back in the studio as well. You wouldn't, you wouldn't play, the, play the music that I was trying to hear. <laughs> so I was sweating you. What, what you working on? Actually, you know, um, when I was, for that, that was actually a feature I was doing for another artist. You know, they don't, you know, people want to keep their stuff under wraps. Um, so I've been... I'll be starting my recording for my album next week. Already? Already, so you got to keep going. Got to be ready for the next one, yeah? So for everybody who um not following you, who living under a rock, because they should need to be following you by now, right? Oh, I know. So corporate, how was that in, uh, acting with corporate on, on during the news scene? That was hilarious. Like, I had, to t I had to put in so many takes because I kept laughing because to have him... You know, we used to laughing at him. So have him standing there just watching you, it makes you laugh. Because he makes the same facial expressions in real life. Like, when he's serious, then he, you know, the same ones he does in the video. So it was hilarious. But I got better because I did one with him. Uh, the first one I did, I was I played a news reporter. The second one I did, it was um, with King Louie. But since I had, you know, I wasn't as goofy as the first one because I, I was used to being around corporate now. But... Yeah, it was fun. You know, I'm like, okay, I could, I could get used to this acting thing. Word. So are you going to do, like, more acting roles? Yeah, if they paying. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm down. I, I mean, I like it. Um, essentially, you, I'm acting anyway. You know what I mean? Because, you know, of the videos, I have to act out the roles. And then also in music, when I'm putting it down for the first time in the record studio, that's real. That's what, you know what I mean? But then when I go on stage, it could be months later. I have to reenact them same feelings and that same sentiment. So we act this in our own right. Anyway. Listen. One more time, where can they follow you at on social media? Y'all can follow me at It's K Valentine. That's I T S K Valentine. And that's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Listen, this is one of my favorites. I'm telling you, if you're living under a rock, get from under that rock, man. K Valentine, she dope. She here for a reason. It's the Urban Ground Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3 shoot. Y'all see her, she don't play. <laughs> oh, one more question, one more question. See, I, I, I can't end it. Nas and Lauren Hill, you got to take a pitch. You got a chance to take a picture with both of them. How was that? It was dope. You know, it's funny. I've met both of them separately already, but it was what was really dope was to see them perform together. You know, the first time I met Lauren, I actually I cried. You know, so so the second time I didn't. You know, I didn't shed no tears. You know what I mean? But um, man, to be around that amount of greatness. You know, you're just trying to suck in what you can. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it was a, a blessed moment. And, and, and now I said we're going to work, so we're going to work. This, this next album is going to be something crazy, huh? Yeah, this next album is going to be off the motherfucking chain. I don't really want to let her lead. That's why I keep coming up with these questions, but I got to let her get ready to take her pictures. It's DJ MH to the K Valentine, Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3. We out. What's up? It's your girl, K Valentine, and right now you are watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Rusty Blade, here at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Volume 3 magazine photo shoot. And next to me, I got the legendary Alex Spiga Ortiz. What's up, brother? What up, baby? What's going on, Russ? People don't know. This is my man right here. Alex is a legendary comic in the city. You got an article in New Magazine. Tell us what you're writing on. Oh, man, I'm doing all kinds of stuff, dude. Everything we can get, especially comedy-related, because, you know, it's the business. And we might as well talk about the people we know, the people we meet, and what we do every day. People love comedy, and we just want to share it with the world. Man, this is professional. You see that? <laughs> now, can you tell us lately what you've been working on? I know you just shot an episode of The Spigger Picture, correct? Yeah, the, the podcast, The Spigger Picture, which is Urban Grind TV, uh, is hooking up with, with producing it. So uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a blast doing it. You know how we get in there. It gets crazy. The man talked about fear. He talked about his grandma. That just it's just ridiculous. You got to check it out when you see it. Now, what do you think, man? How do you, how do you like what's going on here? Yeah, no, this place is hot and popping, man. We got a bunch of people in here, and uh, everybody seems to be moving around doing what they do, man. This is urban grind. You know, we keep putting it. We keep it fresh, dog. Everything. Every time we do something, we do it bigger and better than the last time. Check out the t-shirts. I mean, they're even bigger and better than the last time. T-shirts are dope. Thank Archive Duke. Thank D, thank Bang. We love y'all, man. Y'all always lacing us up. Now, if people want to get in tune with you, Alex, where can they find you on social media? First off, I want to give out, because uh, the movie, I Am Gangsters, on iTunes and Amazon.com. So I want you guys to go out and check out the movie that I'm in. It's my first starring role. Uh, so things, you know, I mean, support your boy. Uh, other than that, you can find me on Facebook, Alex Despigo Ortiz, like Russ told you, or, uh, or Latin Laugh, L-A-T-I-N-L-A-F, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Snapchat, Alex Ortiz. Look me up. I'm out. And, and I'm going to tell you real facts. If you look him up, he will follow you because I'm his friend on Facebook. And it's a bunch of introspectiveness as well as funny stuff going on, man. Rusty Blade, Alex Ortiz, always a pleasure. Right. Urban Grind TV, Urban Grind Lifestyle of Magazine, Volume 3. We out. What up? It's your boy, comedian Alex Ortiz, right here with Urban Grind TV. You in. Yo, what's good, people? It's the Pride of the East Side, DJ Mace Tudor. We live, Urban Ground Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3 photo shoot. And I'm here, man, with Mr. Chicago's own dope songwriter, dope artist, John Blue is in the building. How you doing, sir? I'm all good, bro. How you feeling? I'm real good, man. Pleasure for you to uh, be here. What bring you to the shoot today, man? Oh, man, you already know, man. I have to come support Urban, Urban Grind, you know what I mean? I've been rocking with y'all for years, bro. You know what I mean? And plus, I got a lot going on, you know what I mean? So it's all about cross-promo and building. Absolutely. So you working on a new album? Yes, sir. Called Sacrifice Before Success. You know what I'm saying? Along with the clothing line dropping on my birthday. Okay, so uh, let's go back a little bit. What, what's been a hiatus? What took so long? I know you dropped a couple singles last year. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all about, bro, positioning yourself, creating a team, you know what I mean, that's right for you. You know what I mean? And learning from your mistakes, you know what I mean? So what I did was I always tried to keep myself in the mix and stuff, whether I was, it was behind the scenes, writing and producing for a lot of people, you know what I mean? Even though I ain't dropped a single in a minute, you know what I mean? But what, nah, actually, the last joint I dropped was with Shauna called You Gonna Get the D, you know what I mean? But before that, bro, it's just really staying hibernating, producing it right and getting them checks, producing it right getting them checks, you know what I'm saying? And positioning myself just in case music don't never pay off. You know what I'm saying? I got into real estate too. You know what I mean? So it's all about just creating, creating and building. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Now, you come for yourself, and that's what. I mean. No doubt. Absolutely. So I know you wrote uh, write for a lot of people. I, I've been at uh, some of the listening parties and everything. But you got a clothing line coming out. You said sacrifices. Oh yeah, sacrifice before success. You know what I mean? It's the clothing. I got uh, it's gonna be custom apparel. I mean, custom apparel, uh, limited edition and exclusive. That's all we're doing. Okay. What made you decide to get into fashion? That's my lifestyle. That's my lifestyle. You know what I mean? Every time I step out, it's got to be fashion. No doubt. So if people want to get some of the clothing, where can they find it at? Uh, it's actually dropping on 1027 on my birthday. So the album drops on 1027. The clothing line drops on 1027. And it's, uh, the site, you know what I'm saying, everything going to be launched that day up. We ain't gave it away yet because we don't want people pre-searching, you know what I mean? But yeah, we definitely going to keep, y'all be the first to know. For sure, for sure. So it's going to be online. Um, on, an online store for sure, and then we have it's gonna be in a few few locations like uh, DTLR, uh, um, you know, a couple, couple exclusive spots. Okay, so what could people expect from this album, man? It's gonna be crazy, bro, because I never really done an album before. You know what I mean? I've, I've been so focused on just single, 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 singles, which that's that's the game anyway right now. But it's like, man, let me go ahead and drop a body of work. You know what I mean? So it's really gonna be the birth of my first album for real. You know what I mean? I got a lot of crazy features on there. I ain't gonna name drop, but you know what I mean? Y'all stay tuned, it's gonna be crazy. What what makes you so excited about putting out an album this for the first it's the, like you said, it's your first official album. Are you excited about it? Definitely. You nervous? Nah, 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 not at all. Because I everything going, I'm so used to making singles, so I, pretty much it's gonna be an album full of singles. You know what I mean? So that's it, it's a gift, bro. Like it's kinda hard. Like my consistency is crazy, not knocking my knocking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Giving myself too much credit, but man, God bless me with a gift, bro. And, and as long as I stay positive and stay prayed up, bro, it's gonna pay off and manifest. Absolutely, man, bro. I see the gleam in your eye. I see, I see you still got it. I see you still got the grind. But people who wanna follow you on social media, where can they find you at? You could definitely hit your boy up on uh, IG. That's John Blue J O H N B L U underscore. Facebook John Blue on Facebook also official John Blue and Twitter John Blue. And if they wanna hit you up about business, where can they find you at for that? All three of those, the same way. DJ Mace to the John Blue. We here, man. Urban Grand Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3. We be right back. Yo, what up? What up? It's your boy, John Blue, the R&B Billy, and you watching Urban Grind TV. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Rusty Blade, here at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3, photo shoot. Running on the set, we got Grand National Inc., Hack Nation, and that fam. What's good, fam? Man, what's up, man? We just came out here to show love. Urban Grind showing love to us, man. Y'all check for that magazine coming real soon. You know what I'm saying? Now, FM, you tell me y'all just dropped the video for running on the set. I hear it's doing crazy numbers, and I done shared it myself. Tell me about it. Man, shout out to everybody that's involved with that running on the set. It's so many names. You feel me? I can't, you know, I shot that. Urban Grind TV, you know what I mean, X here. It's a lot more, but man, shout out to everybody that was involved with that. But it's more energy, man. You will see it for yourself. I ain't going to spill it. I want you to go see it. And you tell me how it is. No doubt. Y'all got to check that out. It's definitely on YouTube right now. Now, last time I seen you two brothers, you was at the Cypher. That was our second Cypher. No, nah, we did the third and the fourth that day. Now, what y'all didn't see, though, he was flowing behind the camera like, he got up out of there real quick. Now, what did you think about the cypher? Man, the cypher was on point, man. A lot of young talent, a lot of good talent, man. The, the energy was crazy, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we had a, a prior engagement. We had to get up out of there real quick. But, man, you know, just G and I, man, we always keep it flowing, man. All day, you know? No doubt, no doubt. And then I just seen y'all had a photo shoot with some models right there. So, FM, how did you like that? Man, that's love. Once again, everybody that's involved with us, Grand National, we come from the west side of Chicago, you know what I mean? When we first started, we ain't had nobody, no followers, no number. Me and my dog just stayed down, knew we was going to do something, you know what I mean? I'm just happy right now, you hear me? <laughs>
That's how I do it, man. When you got two energetic players out in the building, man. Urban Grind TV, Lifestyle Magazine, photo shoot, Rusty Blade, Grand National Inc. Before I get up out of here, though, I got to get y'all social media, man, so people can mess with y'all. Man, y'all fuck with us at Grand National Inc. at Instagram. Uh, Facebook is Grand National Inc. Heck Nation. And then that FM, you know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. Hey, look. And another thing, man, I want y'all to check for that Grand National Inc. New Age coming real soon. We're going to let that ride in a few weeks, man. It got crazy bangers on it. And we repping Chicago all day. Shout out to UGTV, you know what I mean? Love is definitely appreciated. I can't wait for that project. I'm going to get in on something with them too, man. Um, but I got to let them know Outbreak coming soon, man. My album dropping real soon, man. man. Russ, my man. Shout out to my man Russ, man. You know he always keeping it coming, man. Off Right off the top. Man, we keeping it funky, man. Grand National Link, Heck Nation FM, Rusty Blade, we out. Yo, this Grand National Inc. And we at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Video Shoot Volume 3. Salute. Universal regresa a Chicago para celebrar su 21 aniversario en Washington Park. Empezando desde el 4 de octubre al 5 de noviembre, puedes disfrutar de espectáculos internacionales desde Cuba, China, Perú, Colombia, Trinidad, Sudáfrica, entre otros países más. Puedes comprar tus boletos por Ticketmaster y sus puntos de venta o en cualquier tienda de Walmart. Así que ven y disfruta de este circo internacional Universal en Washington Park desde el 4 de octubre al 5 de noviembre. Esto es Urban Grain TV y ahí te esperamos. DJ MH Twitter for Urban Grind TV, and I'm here to tell you about the Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine. Go download it right now from UrbanGrindLifestyle.com. It's featuring articles on fashion, music, sports, culture, entertainment, and more. Also, check out my article, One Time for the DJ, featuring my homie DJ J. Illa. Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine, download that right now. We are here at the studio. We're shooting magazine of volume three for Urban Grind Lifestyle. And I'm here with Cassie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm really happy that you can make it out to the shoot. Are you excited about this? Uh, yeah, really excited. <laughs> All right. So, Cassie, tell us a little bit of what you do. What do you dedicate your life to? Uh, videography and photography. It's I've started doing it the past like few years, and I've just completely fallen in love with it. And... I do a little bit of modeling too, but recently I've kind of, I've been doing a little bit of both, but mostly getting behind the camera is what I love. All right, so you were telling me that you started by modeling, right? Yeah, I started when I was like 13, 14 years old um, in Chicago, and I just kind of kept up with it. And so like, have being in photo shoots and modeling, you know, being in front of the camera, did you, I'm assuming you got curious about the behind the camera stuff, right? So when did that happen or when did you realize that? Getting behind the camera mostly started like three years ago when I was in college. I kind of realized, I mean, I've loved music my whole life and I've been working in music since I was like 16, but getting interested in the media side of it and behind the camera has been like the past three years and definitely being in front of the camera and behind the camera has helped each other a great deal. What? So now that you're talking about that, what is like one thing that you noticed, you know, that being in front of the camera and then once you're behind, what was that one thing that you're like, oh, this makes sense or like something that really helped you out being in front of the camera? Definitely um, when it comes to modeling, the posing and just the way you present yourself and everything like that. When you're behind the camera and you're looking at it, you know how to pose people better, and that also helps with being in front of the camera, being able to pose yourself better. All right, now, you do videography, right? Yes. So when did that start? Who have you worked with? What kind of videos have you done? 
Uh, that started about a year ago. I started when I was in college doing music videos for bands and stuff like that. And I started working with a Chicago company, Midnight Cinema. And uh, I love it there. We've done so much. We've worked with um, Riff Raff, Famous Dex, Young Chop, Little Beep. A lot of like local Chicago artists that are like really up and coming. And a lot of like national, international acts. And like it's been a really great experience. So what's like one thing that you find challenging being a videographer versus doing photography? The editing, obviously, it's a lot more involved, but the outcome is like the best thing, though, because you created something that people are going to be seeing all over. Like, my videos have been on Worldstar and stuff like that, and people love them, and it just makes it so much more worth it. All right, now tell me a little bit, do you have any like upcoming projects or any releases for any video that you worked with that's coming out? Um, we have a couple videos that are coming out, but we're going to wait for the artists to uh, announce them first. But a um, couple local Chicago artists and other people like that, but yeah, we'll let them announce that first. All right, and now tell us where can we contact you, you know, if we're an artist out there that wants to have a video or somebody with a photo shoot or looking for a model, where can we reach you? My main social media outlet is uh, Instagram. It's my name, Cassie Belazic, C-A-S-S-I-E-B-A-L-A-Z-I-C. Um, other than that, um, same thing, email Cassie Blazek at Gmail, but that's like the best way to contact me and be able to see my work as well, too. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. It was great hearing from you. This is Urban Grind, and we are here shooting Magazine Volume 3. We'll see you later. Hi, my name is Cassie Blazek, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Yo, it's DJ MH to the Pride of the East Side here, Urban Grind Lifestyle Volume 3 Magazine photo shoot. And I'm here with one of the lovely models who've been gracing the scene with us all day. Miss Tyane, how you doing, honey? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty good, I can't complain. You been having fun today? I have. Everybody here is wonderful. The music's bumping, everybody's good vibes, everybody's smiling, having a good time. It's been a good day. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm from Chicago. I live up north. Like you said, I work with um, Windy City Management with Layla Perez. Um, I'm very familiar with the area. Um, I just started modeling not too long ago, so it's still very new to me. Still trying to get used to the girls, um, get used to the industry, um, get used to networking with people. So it's been pretty good. You've been having fun with it so far? I have. I have. Everybody's cool. Um, it's a good time. Everybody's good vibes, like I said. What made you get into modeling? Um, actually, everyone has always told me, like, oh, you know, why don't you model? And I just wasn't the type of person like to get into stuff like that. But then when I spoke with Layla, she uh, explained to me a bunch of different opportunities and stuff like that. And, you know, what can come with, like, just modeling. It's not just that. There's a lot of other opportunities that go with that. So I want, why not explore? So what do you see yourself in the next couple of years with modeling? Um, I don't know. I mean, um, I, didn't look, I didn't look at it for my profession or anything like that. Just kind of see where it goes, you know, take it as it goes. Um, as of right now, I'm having a lot of fun, so I enjoy it. That's all that matters. Where people can find you at on social media if they want to get in tune with you? I actually have Instagram, which is a social media network that I'm on the most, and it's actually Lao Goldie, spelled L-A-O-G-O-L-D-I-E-E. -E. Also on Facebook and in, uh, and Twitter as Tyann Moten. Tyann, DJ Mace to the Urban Grind Lifestyle Volume 3 magazine, The Shoot. We having so much fun, man. You should be here. Urban Grind TV. We out. What's going on, y'all? It's the Pride of the East Side DJ and Mace Tudor, and y'all know I'm always on my urban grind. And it's a pleasure of having this lovely lady to the next, right next to me, D from Archive Dupe. How you doing, honey? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. D, y'all the hardest working company in the city, right? Yeah. <laughs> what we'll, we'll bring y'all to the uh, photo shoot today? Well, today I'm actually styling one of the new up and coming artists, um, Rebel Hybrid. And then, of course, me and my husband printing all these dope shirts bringing them to the set, making sure that everybody's staying on their urban grind. Always. So what, what else y'all been working on? I know y'all stay busy with helping everybody. If you Listen, if you're working out here, your name should go across their desk. If it don't, you ain't really working. That's honestly the truth. So lately we've just been working on um, expanding. We're growing. We're looking at new locations, different locations. Hopefully we'll be at a mall near you soon. So we just, just growing, growing, pumping it out. No sleep. <laughs> What's the hardest part of the grind right now? The hardest part of the grind, in all honesty, is the sacrifice. The sacrifice to get where, where we trying to go. Like, I ain't, I know it to be true. We on our way there, you know? So the hardest part is the sacrifice, but I know that the payoff is grand. 
So now y'all, you guys been working with uh, Urban Grind TV for a while now. So what what can we expect in the future as far as collaboration? Oh my God, we actually got like a couple of stuff, you know, um, projects on the table with Urban Grind. Of course, I'm not gonna talk about them yeah, no um, until things come into fruition and when they do, Everybody will know, but we do have some projects working. So if people want to be in tune with you guys on social media and definitely need to come check out the store and work with you guys, where can they find you at? So the best way to find us is at our website, which is www.archivedupe.com. Um, after that, then you have our Instagram, archive underscore dupe, and then Facebook, Archive Duplication Company. And then, of course, you can always vi uh, visit our physical location, which is 9909 West Roosevelt Road, Suite 102, in Westchester, Illinois. Listen, our Cav Dupe is who you need to be in tune with if you ain't in tune with nobody. DJMH to the D, our Cav Dupe. Y'all know this family here, man. Urban Grind TV, Volume 3, the magazine. Y'all make sure y'all be in tune, man. We out. Hey, this is D checking in from Archive Duplication Company with Urban Grind TV. Holla at ya. Hey, it's Tessima. We are here shooting Magazine Volume 3 for Urban Grind Lifestyle. It is super, super great weather outside, isn't it, Angela? It really is. Pretty hot. Nice. <laughs> it's extremely hot. We're in September. What's going on? Anyway, so you are a model for Windy City Model Management? Correct. All right, so tell me how you got there. How did you say, you know what, I'm going to do some modeling? Um, actually, Layla, the main one out of all of us, reached out to me, and I'm really glad and happy of the fact that she did because it was something I always wanted to do and I'm proud of what I'm doing so far. Now, how long have you been with the company? I've been with them for about a month, going into two. Yeah. And then, is it were you in any other companies before or like how did you, is this like an actual first company you've been on? A uh, natural first company I've been on. Yeah, don't regret it. <laughs> All right, so what are some of like uh, the modeling or the shoots that you've done? Um, I was in The Breaks, volume one. Um, I also did a couple shoots with a very important photographer named Jerry. And then this one so far. Whoa, but do you like it? Do you love it? Do you like being in front of the camera? I love it. <laughs> Would you ever think about being behind the camera? At moments, yes. I want to see how it looks. Yeah. All right, so tell me, uh, you've been modeling just recently or was this like super, super long time? Uh, recently. Yeah. All right, and then what else do you do? What do you really like about modeling? Um, everything, to be honest. Being behind the, in front of the camera, it's amazing, one of a kind, and won't ever regret it. I love your makeup. Who did your makeup today? Actually, one of the models did it. <laughs> I love it. So glittery and gold. It's like, is it like glitter is a hard thing to work with. It really is. It was all over my face. <laughs> have you, have you like, do you do your own like um, makeup at times? Um, just the basics, yes. Just the basic. I feel you. I do the same. <laughs> what about like um, anything about modeling? Like any other like uh, photographers that you want to work with? Um, anybody that will reach out to me, I would love it. So tell me, how exactly do we reach out to you? Um, you could reach out to me on in Instagram by official Angela Martinez. Angela Martinez on, on Facebook as well. And that's one way. Or you could go to the Windy City Model Management on Facebook, give it a like, and also inbox Layla. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. And I'm so excited to, to see you do some more photo shoots. Thank you so much. All right. This is Decima. You're watching Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine. We're here in the studio, Volume 3. Hey, I'm Angela Martinez. I'm with Windy City Model Management. Thank you for watching. You're watching Urban Grind TV. Hey, it's Sesama, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. We are here shooting Magazine Volume 3 for Urban Grind Lifestyle. I'm here with Tuan Gabs. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing. Love the pink shirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm a breast cancer survivor, so I decided I'm going to rep the pink today. Boom, just like, whoa, threw that right at me. I was like, not ready for that. Well, congratulations. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so happy. Man, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so, true. so tell me, you are a uh, artist, right? And writer, hip-hop, R&B. Tell me more about that. Uh, man, I've, I've been here in Chicago working in uh, Land of Foundation and just groundwork for a while. Um, still, still working. You know, I got my young artist, Tyree Hakeem, who's here with us. Uh, we're, we're slated to put some things out on him through a, through a major uh, first quarter, and uh, finishing up my doc, finishing up a documentary. Uh, man, so much stuff going on. Working with Tiff and Sean on the infamous Syndicate reunion album, um, and then my own stuff is my own stuff as well. So, so when did you start doing all of this? Uh, 
I started I started doing music really seriously as a kid in 97 alongside Mickey Halstead, Ryan Fest, uh, Kanye, GLC really though. You know a lot of the, a lot of the guys that are responsible for laying the, laying the foundation of, of, of what we call today Chicago hip hop scene. So tell me what are the, some of like the main characteristics in the Chicago hip hop scene that differentiate it from other cities? Um, Chicago is more like a melting pot. I think every uh, region of the country as it relates to hip hop, be it the South, be it the West, be it the East Coast, they have somewhat of a defined sound. But the Midwest, because we're in the middle, we kind of hear what everybody's doing and we mix some of, some of this, some of that, and, every, and then we just form this new refreshing sound you know i hear it in i hear it in chicago i hear it in detroit i hear it a lot of the midwestern cities by us being the midwest we're melting pot so we get to mix we get to mix everybody's stuff in sort of like gumbo and just come up with this new you know this new fresh sound you know all right so then now tell me what are you bringing in this new um record that you're working on what is coming out of it like what's something new that you're bringing to the table uh honesty uh what I don't, I don't, I don't want to just leave it there. Honesty. When I say honesty, I mean telling your whole truth. Like a lot of times, we sell a certain perspective or a certain belief or, ide- or belief system or ideology through our music. You know, I'm this that, but tell your whole truth. How do you feel on a regular basis? Like, and given some days are different, but a lot of times the artists only reflect a one-dimensional type way of thinking. I'm about this, 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 and this. But what about the days? Well, you had to go inside and have a real conversation with yourself. A lot of times artists don't allow themselves to show vulnerability through their music and just be honest. So we want to bring the honesty back to the music. To where you, and we, we want to inspire people to tell their whole story, not just the moments in your life where you felt on top of the world. But what about the days you felt like something else or you had certain you had different ideas or just different things on your mind? Share it all with the people. All right, so now that we're kind of on that topic, what would you, what's some advice that you would give, you know, artists that are barely starting up and, you know, are entering the music industry? Share your entire truth. Share your entire truth, especially, especially when you develop your craft to really be good and you build a fan base. That as fans, fans look to you not only for the entertainment aspect, but hip hop is kind of like a, a underground communication system where like you could have never come to Chicago ever before but you may hear Lil Herb and be like man take me over east as a tourist a young a young uh you know African American or Hispanic person coming in or just somebody that's just a fan of hip hop come to Chicago yo take me over east I heard on the yo record he was talking about Bump J and them going into the AP Deli what's that take me to AP so it kind of gives us a we give each other a map to our cities to like you know you, we never have never been to New York before but we may have heard you know the artists talk about 125th Street you want to go to Harlem you want to get the, the stained fish or whatever or whatever the landmarks are like we kind of give each other a road map to each other city so man those are some of the good things that come out of it you know what i mean well thank you so much now before we leave tell us where we can reach you follow you on instagram all that cool stuff uh you can reach me at at a m the number two the rescue a m to the rescue on ig as well as twitter and on facebook you can find me under antoine muhammad all right well thank you so much for being with us today it was great great being with you you're watching Urban Grind TV. We're here at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine 3, Volume 3, shooting. All right? See you later. Next level. Yo, this is Antoine Muhammad, chilling. When I'm chilling, matter of fact, when I am chilling, I'm reading Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine to stay up on what's happening, what's the new, what's the new, new happening in Chicago, what's the, what's the next latest, greatest. I'm checking in with Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine to keep my ear to the streets and know what's going on. I suggest you do the same. Well, it's that time of year again. Universe Soul Circus time. Universe Soul Circus performs at Washington Park October 4th through November 5th. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com, Walmart, and all Ticketmaster outlets. Incredible acts from around the world. World class performers from Cuba, China, Trinidad, Tobago, South Africa, Colombia, and many other countries. 
Universe Soul Circus is truly a global experience. Universe Soul Circus first appearance was in 1996, making this its 21st year right here in Chicago. From all of us at Urban Grind TV, we'll see you at the circus. We're still at it, archive duplication company, where we have no setup fee, unlimited colors, and shirts as low as $3. And now you can get your own customized bling design. Visit our website today at www.archivedupe.com or call us at 708-223-4167. Get burned. Are you looking for a licensed, experienced, and reliable plumber? Finding the right plumber for your needs can be a challenge. We understand that plumbing issues are a major inconvenience. We are a full-service residential and commercial plumbing company offering 24-hour emergency service with a quick response to your call. Our services include sewer cleaning and repairs, drain stoppages, repiping, and much more. We get the job done with the highest quality from qualified professionals. We pride ourselves on customer service. Our expertise is your peace of mind for a job well done. Call us today for all your plumbing needs. Hey, nice. <laughs> The crazy thing about this shit is, I mean, when you first started, right? You already know. And you told me, like, um. Excellent. Let's go. Hey, man, my respect. I've been riding around the city, yeah, I'm running on the set. Let's go. Time to catch a chip. I've been riding around the city, yeah, I'm running on the set. Just stay calm, believe in me, last thing I said, it needs to be enough tragedy I'm on the edge, but I got to be, walking in, coming after me I'm so in, and my soul's in, and I'm no limit, I'm Master P uh, Yeah, we're so about it, about it, everybody crowd around us Look up, and they done found the illest niggas on the planet for shout The people shouting, keep the eagles that's releasing the me Can't breathe without us, uh, I'm from the place like stop sweepstakes Hey, wanna test this day to meet me at the pearly gates, wait before that day, just let me calculate this cake bake. Let's make this music that these niggas can't debate. Ah. Stack, see your pain, rubber band, it bustin' out. Ass out the seam of your pain, it bustin' out. Stack, see your pain, rubber band, it bustin' out. Raps, I'm the man, peep the plan, it yeah, bustin' out. Ah. Hey, man, my respect. I've been riding around the city, yeah, I'm running on the set.
What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Rusty Blade. We here on location for the Urban Ryan Lifestyle Magazine photo shoot. And with me, I have one of the lovely models, Nene. Nene, what's going on? What's up? What's good? So how's everything been going at the photo shoot so far? So, so far, it's just been great. Like, it's been really fun. This was a good experience. My first time shooting, so this is a special moment for me. It's nice. Well, that's dope for your first time. Welcome. Now, can you tell us about your modeling career as a whole and the agency that you work for? Yeah, so I work for Windy City Model Management, and I just started. So you guys can follow me on Instagram at NeneMaldonado underscore. And, yeah, I'm just trying to build my career, do music videos. I do shoots, everything, so. How long has it been, well, how long has it been since you knew you wanted to be a model? Oh, a long time. Like, ever since I was little, I would always be like, I really want to, like, model for like you know big companies and stuff and this is a good start so i think i want to stay with this company it's really nice that's dope when you know that you're willing to work with a company and you feel right at home with it yeah i do feel right at home it, this was a good experience to be honest so i'm glad you had an experience you'll get a chance to be in the magazine one of our lovely models nene here at urban grind tv let's get it What's up, guys? My name's Nene. I'm here on set with Urban Grind TV. It's DJ Mace to the Pride of the East Side, and I'm here at the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine Volume 3 photo shoot. And I'm here with Windy City Model Management Company's CEO and new host at Urban Grind TV, Miss Layla Perez. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Brought a few of the girls out today to participate in the shoot, and looks like the girls are having fun, so that's really all I care about. How much fun did you have? Um, I had a lot of fun. It was great working with different people, you know, getting different perspectives on shooting and getting tips from other people. Because the best thing about networking is learning. This makeup dope you got on. Who did that? You, uh, my makeup was actually done by one of my models. Her name is Tierra Leone, and you'll see her in this shoot as well today. Okay. So what should we expect now that you're on the Urban Grind team? What can we expect from you as far as hosting? Um, well, it's definitely going to be way more active with hosting, um, so look forward to seeing me a lot. Hopefully get to participate in some of the great events that these people have coming up, as well as festivals and other entertainment that they have as well. What else have you been working on? Um, I'm actually working on a calendar right now, which I need models for. So if anybody's interested, you can find us on Instagram at Windy City Model MGMT, as well as Facebook at Windy City Model Management. Well, you do know I'm a model, right? So... <laughs> We'll make you Mr. July. How do you feel about that? June, June, my birthday month. want to be June, even better, Mr. June. So be looking forward to his shoot, guys. What can people find you at on social media? You can find me at Layla Perez Official. That's L-A-I-L-A-P-E-R-E-Z. What about the modeling company? Windy City Model MGMT. On Instagram? Yep, on Instagram and Facebook, it's the same thing. Windy City Model Management. DJ Mace Tudor. Layla Perez, Wendy Siddle Management Company. We here, man, Urban Grind TV. We out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Layla with Wendy City Model Management and Urban Grind TV. Hi, this is Layla here with Urban Grind TV, and we are live on the set of Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine Shoot, Volume 3, and we are here with Heartbreak Rebel. So for those of us out here that don't know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a rapper, I'm an artist, entrepreneur, up and coming. I do it all, basically, as far as in the music. Um, I'm a musician also. Um, I have an EP coming out called 2096. It's gonna be real raw. I got a couple of people from Chicago working, working with me. That's working on it. Um, Wild Staff from Crucial Conflict, not to mention, he a legend. He already um, helping me out. He helping me engineer my whole EP. I got a joint with Bibby coming out called IDGAF. That's gonna be dope. I want y'all to check that out also. And um, you know, I'm just basically here to tell the walls rap down. You know. Sounds good. So you're just out here to give the people pretty much a good a good feel of what you're doing. So can you tell us how to find you, where we can find your music, Facebook, Instagram names, things like that? Um, I don't have a Twitter or a Snapchat right now, but I do have a Facebook and I have an Instagram. On Facebook, you can find me at Heartbreak Rebel, just Heartbreak Rebel. Simple and plain on Facebook. Ain't no other motherfucker like me, so you know, you're going to know when it's me. On Instagram, heart underscore break, not with an E and an A, with an eight, number eight. K underscore Rebel. That's where you can find me at on Instagram. Sounds good. Well, thanks so much. Um, like you guys heard, this is Heartbreak Rebel here with Urban Grind TV and Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine. And we're signing off from Value 3. This is Heartbreak Rebel and you with Urban Grind TV. Turn your TVs up right quick.
Hey guys, this is Layla here with Urban Grind TV, and we're here on the set of the Lifestyle Magazine with Urban Grind as well. This is volume three that's coming out. It's going to be super dope. So we have Tito Garcia here. He's actually the head photographer for today's shoot. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your photography? Yeah, hi, I'm Tito Garcia. I'm a photographer here in, in uh, Chicago. I've been doing freelance for a little minute. You know, I shoot for people like uh, Our Heart Media, the Chicago Defender. So I'm freelance and I can shoot for anyone. So right now, we today we're shooting for Urban Grind TV for issue number three, right? Yes, sir. And what you're going to see on volume three, the front cover, you're going to find uh, Kay Valentine, hot artist from, hip-hop artist from Chicago. She's been touring with uh, Talib Kweli. Last night she did a show with Yasin Bey, you know, most deaf. So she's hot, definitely hot. Yeah, she definitely is hot. I've seen her on set here. So big shout out to Kay Valentine, who's going to be gracing the cover of Volume 3 for Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine. Can you tell us a little bit about how to find you? Where can we find you on Facebook and Instagram? And if you could just, you know, let us know what's the best possible way to contact you. Okay, so yeah. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as Got It Lens. That's at G O. Uh, T I T underscore L N E S. Got it, Lens. I'm on Facebook as Tito Garcia, and I also got a website. Uh, it's called www totally vision. That's with two eyes, not Y. So it's totally vision. And uh, you can hit my number. I mean, you can call me at uh, error code eight four seven five three zero two two seven three. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Tito. And again, like we said, be looking out for volume three of the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine. I'm here, Layla Perez with Urban Grind TV, and me and Tito Garcia are signing off. All right, this is Tito G, Tito Garcia. My name is Got It Lens on IG, and this is Urban Grind TV. Yo, what's happening? Y'all know what it is. It's the pride of the East Side DJ MH Tudor. Y'all know I'm always on my Urban Grind. We at the Volume Three Mag. We at the Urban Grand Lifestyle Volume Three Photo Shoot, and I'm here with the lovely London. London, how you doing today? I'm pretty awesome. How are you? I'm good. London, you having fun? Oh yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> you nervous? No, not at all. Uh, I'm not like a professional, but I'm very uh, successful at what I do. I like that. How long you been modeling? Uh, pr mm, for about two years now. What made you get into it? Well, growing up. Uh, my great aunt always said I have long legs, you know, so I just kind of caught on and uh, I just picked it up and now that's what I'm doing. You having fun, Madeline, so far? Yes, I am. Uh, I don't have any complaints besides getting up early in the morning. <laughs> no complaints at all? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you see yourself going with this in the next few years? Man, I want to really do um, runway, um, but right now I'm just doing photo shoots. Um, but hopefully uh, I can be signed to someone and um, just start doing movies. So you want to do like fashion week and, uh, and makeup and all that kind of stuff? Oh, yes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That'd be dope. Are you into fashion? Uh, making clothes, no, but wearing them stun, yeah. Stun? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. If people want to be in tune with you on social media, where can they find you? Uh, on Instagram, you can find me at cool.kid.frank. Cool is spelled with a K. London, the cool kid. DJ Mace to the Urban Ground Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3. We here, man. Y'all need to be here with us. Y'all see what's happening behind us. We having fun. Y'all stay tuned. Yo, it's the Pride of the East Side, DJ Mace Tudor, and we're live at the Urban Ground Lifestyle Magazine, Volume 3, photo shoot. And I'm standing here with the director of Urban Grind TV, along with Crypto City's creator, Crypto City's very own. Nothing happens around here without this guy, Mr. John Daniel. How you doing, sir? Oh, it's been a great day. We've been working hard, and we've got a great product definitely coming out uh, for this magazine. Are you excited about the magazine? What's your favorite part so far? I am very excited about the magazine. Uh, definitely, I think our, we stepped our game up since the last two. And I'm excited about my articles that I'm writing for the magazine. Crypto City. Uh, yeah, that's correct. I'll be writing an article about the dire wolves of Robinson Wolves and uh, a true encounter about the large wolf-type creature I experienced about 10 years ago. Oh, wow. That, that should be very interesting. What made you want to get into the, uh, everything crypto and the unknown in the first place? It's just been a calling, basically. I, you know, For some reason, it's just always been what's entertained me, what's attracted me, the 
the crappy ghost shows, the terrible hunting for Bigfoot. You know, I just want to do something a little more real, something that's not as fake or as phony as some of the other shows out there that t- uh, tackle similar topics. What separates Crypto City from those other shows? Uh, well, we reach a different audience. Uh, they go for a built-in uh, audience of people who are already looking for sort of the supernatural, where we try to reach an audience that has no idea about it. So, And we cover different types of uh, topics, different variety of ideas. If someone's never been familiar with Crypto City, what would they expect by just the articles or even tuning into the show? Uh, we're an open exchange of ideas. We're trying to give you a new perspective on what is out there, what could be out there, and what is and what is not a definitive term, creature. Uh, I, I didn't know where to go at the end of that one, but you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. So let's talk all things urban grind, right? So what's... what's What's been happening with the with the direction of the show, and what do you feel like we sh- we will be going in the next couple of years? Uh, we're doing great. We're doing uh, where we were a couple of years ago to where we are today. It's been uh, like a skyrocket. Um, we are gonna go national soon, and we're gonna be definitely where people tune in for some of the greatest Chicago news about hip hop, um, urban entertainment, and all the other sort of topics we cover. For everybody, for people who want to be in tune with you, with it, as far as the websites and the social media and everything, where can they find you? At? Well, all my work's usually found through Urban Grind TV. I mean, if you see most of the stuff, ninety-five percent of it is stuff I finalize or produce. There, except the radio stuff. That's all Sonia, um, but it's visual stuff. We also have uh, my Cryptid City. You can find me there at any social media, the Instagram, the Twitter, even the Facebook at Cryptid City. It's on the bottom of the scene, C-R-Y-P-T-I-D-C-I-T-Y. It only took me two years to memorize that. John Daniel, DJ MH Tudor. Let me see. D- John Daniel. He's John Daniel. I'm DJ MH Tudor. Urban Grind Lifestyle, Volume 3, the magazine. People do confuse us often, so I get it. It's my twin brother, can't you guys tell? <laughs> Urban Grind Lifestyle, back, Magazine, Volume 3. Y'all say it too, man. Urban Grind, we out. This is John Daniel, and you're watching Urban Grind TV.